Unfortunately, there are significant challenges that this endeavor to send humans back to the moon must overcome. The whole development of the Starship and Musk's estimation would cost around $5 billion, and so far, the NASA contracts haven't done much to help the costly project. The mission competes with other NASA priorities such as climate change, earth science, and space station operation. And each of these sectors has a specific set of goals that cannot be abandoned in favor of another lunar landing. Aside from that, the lunar project has struggled politically in recent years due to the divergent plans and commitments of the various administrations. Take for example NASA's Artemis program was announced by President Donald Trump's administration, with former US Vice President Mike Pence even announcing the version for a 2024 launch date for Artemis. Unfortunately, significant roadblocks have appeared during President Joe Biden's administration, prompting NASA's own Inspector General to state in a recent report that lunar landing in late 2024 as NASA currently plans is not feasible. This Office of the Inspector General report claims that the agency faces significant challenges in producing its next-generation spacesuit technology by November 2024. The report noted that its schedule included approximately a 20-month delay in delivery for the planned design, verification and testing suit, two qualification suits, an ISS demo suit, and two lunar flight suits. The report went on to say that the delays are the result of funding shortfalls, COVID-19 impacts, and technical challenges. And as a result, Artemis wouldn't be ready for flight until April 2025 at the earliest. With several components of the schedule anticipated to be delayed by at least two years. Interestingly, despite these rumors, Musk admitted on Twitter that SpaceX will put people on the moon before 2024. And it seems that we are on track to send people back to the moon several decades after the last time. On November 16th, 2022, the first major space flight of NASA's Artemis program, Artemis 1, was launched, marking NASA's return to the lunar exploration five decades after the conclusion of the Apollo program. This mission, which was the first integrated flight test of the Orion spacecraft and space launch system, or SLS rocket, helped re-establish human presence on the moon, as it tested Orion in the harsh environment of deep space before flying astronauts on Artemis 2. Orion traveled over 270,000 miles from Earth during the mission, more than 1,000 times farther than the distance the International Space Station orbits the globe. Orion also completed two lunar flybys, passing within 80 miles of the lunar surface on each occasion. It broke the previous mark for the greatest distance traveled by a human-carrying vehicle, set by Apollo 13. In addition, Orion spent more time in orbit than any other spacecraft made for astronauts has, without docking to a space station. In any case, NASA is scheduled to perform a crewed lunar flyby in 2024, with the next one after Artemis 3 anticipated to involve a crew moon landing.